this little spinner has caught me more fish than any other lure in my box and it only costs less than five euros the bargain of the century these little spinners these are a MEPS Comet I use the size one on these small little rivers and streams when I'm using my ultra like gear for these wild brown trout here in Ireland and um, they're universal you'll use them all over the world for all different species but trout go absolutely mental from they love them um, I like to use the golden blade when it's uh, slightly coloured dropping from a flood and the silver blade when the water is clear um, but they both perform really really well and for less than five euros the amount of fish they catch it's just absolutely insane so we're here fishing on a Friday evening the river is quite low it's come down from the flood now it's nice and clear um, we're going to head up for the next two hours and catch some wild trout I'm very confident now that the water level has dropped down to normal that we're going to get a few fish um, but I'm going to show you these little spinners in action they catch me so many fish and um, when I only have one or two hours in the evening to go off and catch a few fish I tie, tie this little bad boy on and it always works to be honest it always works I crush down the barbs on the hooks because it's all catch and release um, that I do and it just makes flicking them off a lot of them come off in the net by themselves and yeah it's all a bit of fun I like to fish this on uh, ultralight spinning rods it makes it way more fun especially with these smaller fish it's a one to five gram rod six foot six is the length and I use a size 1000 uh, reel with some eight pound braid and I use about 50 centimeters of six pound fluorocarbon tied to a swivel that connects the braid to the fluorocarbon and then I tie the spinner directly onto the line I don't use a snap when I'm fishing with spinners I feel that they spin better when I tie directly with a spinner um, and I like to use a swivel when I'm using spinners they do spin a bit better um, but you can use either it works grand either way but yeah we're going to head up the river lads I have the waders on and I'm just wearing a jumper this evening there's no rain jacket it's actually quite warm this evening um, so we're going to head up try catch a few fish don't forget to hit the like button lads if you enjoyed this video as we're going along and yeah let's go fishing so I'll explain quickly the best way to fish these maps um, I always work upstream when I'm fishing for trout if you think about what the fish are always going to be facing upstream to keep the water going through their gills they always face upstream in the current so you can come up behind them and you won't spook them and what you're trying to do here is flick the spinner upstream get in contact with it straight away and just bring it back down towards you on a steady retrieve and the trout will nip out from behind the rocks and they'll actually chase it downstream as well after the spinner and it gets some really good reaction strikes they think it's a minnow fleeing downstream and they absolutely hammer it when they take it it's really good fun so cast it upstream get in contact straight away and keep spinning constantly you can't go quick enough for trout they're really really fast so if you think you're going too quick or the current is too quick don't worry about it just keep reeling on a steady retrieve the trout will come down after it you'll get the reaction strikes and you can cover a lot of water very fast so i usually have two or three crasts in the pool and if i don't get a hit i keep moving because that's the pool fished if there was a fish there you would have gotten and keep moving your way up cover as much time water as you can in the little time you have you'll catch more fish yeah there's a trout they came out from underneath the rock just bring it down underneath the bridges bridges can be really good spots for trout there we go first trout of the session it's a lovely little size for this little river that we're fishing on don't forget lads, wet the hands before you grab the fish when you're trying to unhook them so there's the trout beautiful size for this little river fat little trout there he goes, back into the current the spinner, done the job the trout is fish sitting just in a rock on the side of the bridge and I seen him nip out and attack it so keep moving up, there could be one or two more trout in this pool I'm going to have one or two more casts but I'm going to keep moving up and uh, see what we can find there's actually a bit of rain now so we'll keep going Oh, this level is perfect lads this is absolutely perfect there's a good cast straight across the river yeah there's a trout So I just had that cast right in front of the other side of the bridge where I thought there'd be a fish and boom, out he came. So as always, we're going to wet the hand here. It's going to tuck the rod into my waders. I'm going to wet the hand, get this guy unhooked. Up straight out. There he is. Beautiful wild brown trout. 
See you, buddy. Oh, off he goes. So, as I, I can see already, lads, the river is in perfect condition for this sort of fishing. I'm very confident we're going to get a good few fish now in this, this session. So, if you enjoy this sort of fishing, catch and release for wild round trout on these wild little river streams. Using ultralight spinning gear, make sure you hit that like button, lads. Let's the uh, YouTube know that you're enjoying the content and drop a comment. So, let's keep going. Now, I absolutely love this sort of fishing. It's so much crack. We've only just started, I'd say, three minutes ago, and we've two fish landed, and we're just after getting another hit. When the conditions are like this, it's just really, really fun. It's only up to my, I'd say my, my quads just above my knees. It's the perfect height for spinning for trout with, with spinners. I'm working my way upstream. There's lots of overgrown bushes and trees and currents coming down. It's a really bendy river on this little section where I am now. It's just perfect for this sort of fishing. So let's uh, put the camera back on the chest and catch a few more. Oh, there's trout. Whoa, look at that for a jump. Whoa. Oh, he shook the hook. <laughs> that was class. I don't even care that he came off. That was just so cool. I love when they're just so energetic like that. He was probably about 10 inches, but he was fighting like a little tuna. So let's keep going. Yeah, got him. Missed him the first time. Right there, right? Yeah. Right, so we've had five trout so far. We've been fishing for about 10 minutes. It's really good crack. Um, so I'm gonna keep talking to the camera throughout the video to keep you occupied. I'll show you a quick idea here behind my thought process while, where I'm casting while I'm working upstream. So where I'm standing here, I just said I'd stop up to talk to the camera. There's actually an overhanging tree there. So the way I approach this is I, I come up the side of the river as quietly as possible because if you think about it, every step you make, the trout can hear that, no problem, they'll hear that. So you have to be really, really quiet. I'll, I'll work my way upstream and I'll make a few casts at the very back of the overhanging tree because those trout will be schooled up just in under the ledge of it. So if you can land your spinner, I mean six inches off the back of the branch and instantly start reeling it, you'll pull them out of the branch and you'll get the hits, no problem at all. You can see there, there's a bubble stream on the way down, just like you'd be fishing the wets or you'd be fishing the nymphs, you'd be flicking it into the current and, and drifting it down. The way to fish the spinner is flick it into the top of the bubble stream and slowly pull it back towards you. It's all gravel, it's a slow, it's a slow slope over towards that side of the river as you can see there. Shallow and slightly deeper to about a meter. So the trout will be sitting up, just on the ledge there there's a, a gravel bed and they're going to be nipping up every bit of food that comes down that bubble line. So if you can put your spinner to the top of it and pull it back towards you, diagonally or downstream, you'll get so many reaction strikes. They'll actually chase it right to your feet once you're really quiet and you can hold it there into the current and give them a chance to get there and you'll catch them. So as you can see, we're moving up here. Uh, it gets a bit shallower, so you have to be really quiet. Longer casts upstream so you don't spook the fish. You'll have to just cast a little bit further and keep in contact with it, keep the rod high, keep the spinner coming towards you. You can fish the spinner in up to six inches of water and still catch fish. We just caught one downstream doing that. So we're gonna keep moving up. There's a few tips, lads.
Oh, see, literally we just had a hit straight away after that. There was a trout there, so let's keep going. So we'll try one more cast here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, ho, ho. see, we would have just walked straight up on top of that fish if we didn't have a few casts first. He came out from underneath the corner of the bush and leathered the spinner and he jumped and shook the hook. So you have to be careful while you're walking. There's fish right in front of you. Oh, so I just caught that guy right on the far bank. It's gonna wet the hand before you unhook him. There we go. Beautiful trout. See you, buddy. Good stuff. So he was actually hunting just off the far bank. I had a few casts up here. I hooked two fish here. They both came off. Had a flick onto the far bank, brought it downstream into him. So let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh no. <laughs> I came off. <laughs> Barbless spinners. Ah well. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice trout. Oh wow, yes, that's the biggest trout of the year in the river, 100%. He's a beauty, I'll wet the hand here. Give you a quick look at him, I'll get a picture of him. He is stunning lads, that is what we are after. That is unreal for this river. What an absolute gorgeous fish, look at that. Beautiful wild brown trout. I'll keep him in the water. Give him a second. Hey guys, we're just going to get this fish released. Look at how beautiful he is. There he goes. Fantastic. Yes, I'm buzzing with that. That was a gorgeous fish for this little river. You don't get them bigger than 11, 12 inches until they come up from the lake, kind of after June. So that fish was just a pure wild, wild stream fish. Really, really nice to get. I like to give them a second or two in the nest just to rest up and then I just slip them away. And it's cool to see them soon away. Um, so yeah, look where I am. That is wild. So much fun. So I'm going to keep working my way up. I've only been fishing for about 20 minutes. So yeah, can't complain, we'll keep going and uh, hope you're enjoying the video lads, keep hitting that like button. Yeah, there's a trout. Small guy. We'll get him here, right the hands before we touch him. So I need a small guy, gorgeous fish. See you buddy. Good stuff. So it's kind of an open basin here in front of me. It's really shallow, so there's a slight deeper side on the right hand side. But I'm in this circumstance, I'm just kind of fan casting on the, on the way up. And they can be anywhere in, in this sort of condition. It's only ankle deep. So perfect for trout. Let's keep going. Yeah. Right the hand. Came off. Okay, this looks quite fishy. I'm gonna have a flick with the spinner in underneath that branch and see if we can catch a trout. Yeah. <laughs> there was one there, we didn't catch him, but we hooked him. Let's keep going. All right, so we're gonna work our way up here, past all the trees. There's actually a good few insects hatching out. There's a bit of heat there this evening. First time this year. We're supposed to get a warm weekend, so the mayfly should be up on the lake soon, actually. We'll have to get the fly rod out. I'll try to catch one on the mayfly. So 
So as you can see straight ahead of me there's like a shallow plateau the whole way up. There's a few branches but I'm it looks pretty fishy so we're gonna have a few casts here. Yeah. Oh he came off. He was just sitting at the back pool there. They're never fully in the current, they're always just outside it. Yeah, there's a trout. Oh, it's quite a good one. Yes, beautiful wild trout. They get my hook quickly. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, tiny little guy. Tiny little baby, wet the hand. Ooh. Perfection in miniature, look at that. I don't need to keep Oh yeah. Oh, he's so golden, look at that, lads. This fish is absolutely glowing. Put the hand in the water. Relax, buddy. You're going to get released. Oh. Look how golden he is. It's a long fish. It's a skinny fish. Yeah, he's only tiny. Watch your hand. Tiny little trout. Yeah. Nice little silver guy. Oh. So if you're still watching this far into the video, fair play lads. Actually drop a comment right now and tell me that you are because fair play, that's actually some going. But after we've been fishing for the last hour, we have just countless trout. I'd say I've had between 30 and 40 easily. I don't know, I'm shaking them off. It's, it's good crack. Um, but there's not much left in this stretch. But if you're still watching at this point, make sure you hit that like button lads and drop a comment and tell me that you are still here at this stage. Fair play to you. So we're gonna go up a little bit further and see if we catch one or two more but I'm, I'm gonna get out of the river soon because I'm actually getting a bit tired so let's stay going yeah. Yeah. Inspector Hook now we're gonna wrap it up there guys we've got a 
countless amount of fish, so much fish, and actually some nice ones for this river, you know. When they get to that little chunky 12 inch size for a small little river like this, you know, it's, it's a good one to come across. Um, like I said, if I want a big trout, I'll go onto the lake, but fishing on these wild little rivers, it's so much fun. With something as simple as a small little MEP spinner, an ultralight spinning rod and bike, you get hours and hours of enjoyment out of it. So make sure you give it a go anyway. And if you do fish this sort of fishing, every now and again, drop a comment. What's your favorite lure? I know a lot of lads in the last few videos were saying the Black Fury, um, all different kinds of MEPs. Some people like the small little Abu Tormentors, Rapala Countdowns, Salmo Minnows. There's so many lures you can use for this sort of fishing. But for something as simple as a MEPs that costs less than five euro, you'll catch every single fish that's in front of you. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video, lads. I'm Rex from walking around in waders for the last two hours. So make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, lads. We'll catch you next time.